four bedrooms, three bathroom, three car garage, over 2,800 square foot with a dense single story on a 60 by 120 lot for an amazing price you can't miss. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and guys today I have a treat for you. As I was searching around, this is a model that I've been trying to do for a very long time and it just didn't happen and now I am doing this. This is not a furnished model but this is one of the most sought after floor plan and you're going to see why. It is a four bedrooms, three bathroom with a den three car garage on a 60 by 120 lot and guess the price out the door. It is $624,000 at the time of the shoot and it is available at the time of the shoot. I'm going to make sure that I get this video out to you right away because it is available. There is a possibility that it may not be but if that happens you can build this model in another community on a really nice big lot just down the road. So that is something. Now the base price of this house is actually at six. dollars $34,990. However, because this is the last house in this community in Mignola, it is available. So the first thing you're going to notice is how amazing you have this beautiful pavers that leads to your three car garage. You have a two car bay with this beautiful coach light and then you have another one car bay right over here. You have this nice walkway that leads to the front of the house. So let's go inside and check this house. Now this house has a lot of upgrades in there and I'm going to mention those to you. It's not completely decked up. It's not a furnished model but it is a beautiful home and if you've been thinking about a big house all single story then this is it let's have a look hello hello and welcome to another beautiful model right here now guys i've been trying to get you as many floor plans as i could with every single builder the issue is that the builder will build like 15 floor plans and then they will only have four or five decorated model. This is a model that I've been trying for a very long time to get. They had a decorated model, they sold out the community and then they were using that as an office and it was only open one day. However, they had this inventory home for $624,000 that you can buy today with a 5.99% interest rate plus $10,000. This house has a lot of upgrades as it sits. It's four bedrooms, three bathroom, three car garage, 2,863 square foot in a community with no CDD and the HOA is just about $64. You have the community pool, cabana, tot lot, walking trails in Mignola. And if you want to know more about Mignola, make sure to check out Orlando Living with D. But this is a model that you can build. The base price of this model is actually without the den because this one has a den is about Six hundred and thirty-four thousand nine ninety. So this is a really, really good home for the price. And if you've been thinking about it, I know, guys, market is what the market is, rate is what rate is. The question you really need to ask yourself is that, can I afford the payments in this current market? Now, I do follow quite a few people, especially with real estate business, and I follow Barbara Cochran. If you haven't Googled her, please go ahead and do so. And this is what she said about buying a home in this market. Hey, I'm sure you've heard that interest rates just hit a 23 year high. And you know what that's doing? It's pushing more buyers onto the sideline and they're gonna wait it out. Let me tell you something. The days of the two or 3% interest rates are never gonna come again. Forget about that, but they will come down and you wanna stay in the market. And I'm gonna tell you why. The minute they drop and come to anything with a five in front of it, the whole world's gonna jump back in the market. There's gonna be no houses around and prices are gonna go up by 10% or even 15%. So don't get out of the market. This is the very best time to buy a house because everybody's scared. My job is also to bring you to the reality of how things are. And I can tell you, there's a lot of inventory home that you can get a great deal, but if you're gonna build from scratch, 
you're not going to get much from the builder. The builders understand that in order for them to move and have the sales and be in business, they're going to build inventory homes and offer you a lot of options to make it affordable. Right now with this builder, they've reduced the price quite a bit and they are giving 5.99% as the interest rate for 30 years plus $10,000 on top. If you build the same home with the same specs, it's gonna be closer to $700,000. So that is something to keep in mind. And, and she also says that, you know, it's just not going to happen overnight where the market is going to crash. It's just, I'm going to put in the link for you so you can see for yourself what is she saying. So the first thing you're going to notice is you have this eight foot door right over here. You have your semi-private dining area. You can also make this into a living area. What I love is that you have those extra lights. If you are going to build a home from scratch, make sure to check out my playlist. I've done a lot of playlists to help you to educate you so you can get the clarity to be able to do what you want to do. And then right across from it, you have this double door den, which is great. You do have those extra lights, this nice window. Your ceiling height is going to be 9.4. Eight foot door, solid door is standard feature with the builder. However, the, the den, if you do get the den, this would be included in the price. But if you don't have that, you're gonna have the similar open space on this side. Definition of a den is basically an enclosed space with probably no window or a closet. A definition of a bedroom is if it has a window, if it had a closet, it could have very well been a bedroom. Upgraded tile is included in the price. This is all upgrade. Five foot one by four baseboard is a standard feature with this builder. And look at this. Now, did I mention that this is a gas community? I'm like, look at this. This is your standard kitchen. You have this 42 inch cabinet with the crown molding, extra lights, and look at this beautiful cots that you have. Look at the size of this island. You have the four pendle light. You can easily sit four people. It's all open over here. And look at the stainless steel sink right over here, which is actually an upgrade. And I know this because I did that exact stainless steel sink in my house, a gas community. And then the other thing I want to point out is that the microwave went outside, hallelujah. This is something, little things like this matters because, you know, I don't know about you, but when we are cooking, when we use a lot of spices and stuff, it's kind of nice that it went outside the house. I just love the beautiful crown molding and also the backlash that kind of the, uh, matches the color of the cabinet. I just love this beautiful tile just they're bending. Another thing I want you to notice, this is all an upgrade. You get these three cabinets. This is an upgrade. You usually have two. So whenever you have something like this, this is going to be an upgrade. So just keep those things in mind. And then right over here, you have your standard cabinets. Of course, the upgrade is in regards to the handle and the color, but that is something to keep in mind. You have this open space. And this is a gourmet kitchen. You also have an upgrade right over here, which is fantastic. You have your double oven right there. Now with this builder, you know, there are a few things that they are doing as a standard feature. Now, if you want to know, hey, what do I get for my base price? Please make sure that you, you put that in the comments so that I can help you. But let me take you to this side of the house. You have your laundry over here. This is your pretty standard laundry. The upgrade is in regards to the tiles. This is how you get it. There's no washer and dryer. So you're not gonna get that. And that is a lot of builders are doing that unless they are, you know, uh, inventory builders, primarily as, as DR Horton or Lennar or Meritage. They build a lot of home and with them, this is the house, this is the price, and this is what we are doing. You can't really go to a design center. In some communities with DR, they can do that. But as I understand right now, they are not doing that. But with Lennar and Meritage, and, and other inventory builder, this is it. So you have this door. Now eight foot door is an upgrade as I mentioned before, but look at your garage. They also put that special plumbing over there because some people like to have like a wash station. This is something that you can do later on. And the good thing is when you build a three car garage, the standard is that you get this, but you don't get this. This is something that you have to pay extra for. So just keep those things in mind. That is something because I know because I build with this builder and I had to pay extra concrete block. 
with the frame on top and then you have the attic entrance right over there and this is the way you get the floor now of course before you close on this they're going to clean and then they always give you extra paint and extra tile and stuff just just for you to do that now as i go inside right across from me is your pantry space not a not very big but a little bit deeper it's really comfortable right there but with the amount of cabinet and the space that you have you're not really going to need that much space but again it depends upon the size of your family what i love over here is your open floor plan so this is a split floor plan where you have your master bedroom on the extreme side and then you have the other secondary bedroom and the bathroom over there i love the extra light the ceiling height you have your tv right there you can do your thing keep an eye on everything that happens in the great room i love the covered lanai area that i'm going to show in just a moment but let me go ahead and take you on this side of the house because right over here is one of the bedrooms and the bathroom so it's really nice that you have this big bedroom up front this could be now you will notice that you don't have those extra lights over here and you have the eight foot door you have this nice window with the marble silk over there your standard room but what i love is the closet doors because they are not split they are not one of those roller ones a good amount of space and when you are living in this part of the world you are going to have your neighbors or not your neighbors but your extended family your other family come and visit you because you're just about 30 to 40 minutes to the disney you're not very far from a lot of things so that is something to keep in mind and plan accordingly and then you have this which is a walk-in shower, which is an upgrade. And the other upgrade is the tile that goes all the way up. So the upgrade is all the way going up and also the tile that you see over here. Your countertop is an upgrade with the undermount sink, which is quartz and your tile. So that is something to keep in mind. For your base price, you're gonna have the granite and then you are going to have that in the master bedroom, your kitchen, and you oh, sorry master bathroom is what i meant to say master bathroom kitchen and that's it and all the other secondary bathroom are going to be for michael so you do have to pay extra for it you also have the linen closet or the coat closet or whatever closet you want this to be right over here one thing i want to point out if you look at this house especially in on the inside they, their edges are kind of rounded off as compared to the ones right over here some of them have sharp edges but for the most part those are kind of rounded off which is something that you do have to pay extra for it it's a design center option depending upon how you want the edges to be like in my personal home they're all like they're like just just the regular you know how the two walls meet but over here they're kind of rounded off it kind of makes it nice and it just looks more prettier and then I think when you're moving things around it's just a little bit of a more cleaner look and then right over here is your other secondary bedroom this is a really good size and I always say that guys if you haven't watched my playlist on building a brand new home please go ahead and do so and you can thank me later because I've done a lot of videos to kind of give you an idea of what you should do, what you shouldn't do, what kind of inspection to get. I spend a lot of time, money, effort, and energy to bring that. So please press that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. We also have Orlando Home Show in Espanol because my Spanish is poquito. And now we have Carolyn Maldonado along with Anna. They both run that show and they're bilingual. They do a fantastic job. They do the same thing that I do, but in Spanish. Every now and then they come on my channel. I go on theirs. It's always fun. And then you have this really nice, good size closet space right over here. So this is really, really nice floor plan. This is something that I can compare to the Taylor Morrison's and Croy model, which was a four bedrooms, a four and a half bathroom, and that was about 2,700 square foot. This is 2,863, but with one less bathroom and they have that den. And, and like if you compare both, Taylor Morrison is a little bit more expensive builder in that regards. And, and that house would have been over $750,000. So right over here is your other bedroom. You have this really nice window looking at your backyard. Now your backyard is big enough to be able to make a decent sized pool, but then you do lose a lot, um, like in terms of your, uh, 
lawn area, you are going to lose a substantial amount, but the lot is big enough for you to build a pool if that is what you need to do, because the minimum is 50 by 110, and you can have a decent, especially if it's a two-story home. So this is something, like it's a really good option, especially if you are looking for a home that would be all single story, everything is right there with the three car garage. You have this nice walk-in closet area right over there. And then as I come out, you have the bathroom, which is the other bathroom over here. It's a full bathroom when what I love is the shower tub combination with this beautiful tiles going all the way up. And then you also have the closet right there, but the best part is that you have this door. So while somebody is taking a shower, somebody can be getting ready, doing their makeup, brush, whatever. And if you do build a pool, the fantastic thing is that you have a door that leads you to your outside. So since I'm here, let me go ahead and take you outside and look at the amount of space you have. The only thing that I would suggest is if you did are you going, if you are going to have a summer kitchen, then it's nice to have that plumbed and then you can always do, but look at the amount of space. You can screen the enclosure for probably 12 to $1,500 and then you have your lot that goes all the way till where you see the fence. So you can build a decent sized pool and still have a little bit of yard for your two legged friends. And then you have the double sink over there that I didn't mention before. And then these doors, I would have loved if these doors could have kind of go back and kind of hide. That would have been fantastic, but hey, it is what it is. I know Pulte does that. Jones used to do that, but they don't do that anymore. And, and I actually recently did a, uh, a video with Jones and oh my God, if it's not released, it will be releasing very soon. And they just came up with some brand new floor plan. And oh my God, I was like, wow. I did a bungalow with them, a single family and a townhome, something very, very different. So if you haven't watched that video and if it's not released, it will be releasing very soon. Make sure to do that. And then this is where you have your master. One thing that I did notice and I hopefully they listen, they have a light here, which is fantastic. Like in one of the models that I built with this builder, they had the, the air went right outside instead of a light. I'm like, they could have figured someplace else out, but I love that you have that light there. You also have the closet over here. And then look at the size of your master bedroom. I'm like, this is really good size. I'm going to go in the corner as I usually do. You have the fall ceiling with those extra lights two windows here, another window there. Look at all this space and wait till you check out the master bathroom, which is a walk-in shower, frameless walk-in shower, which is an upgrade. And then you also have the rain shower. Now they used to do that as a standard feature. And what they did is they changed that and they made it a design center option. And what they actually did in lieu of make a house a smart home, like they added a, 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 a ring doorbell or a Google doorbell, the, all your appliances, you, you have the app that you can control. They just made that in a way that it becomes more of a smart home, which is not that much of an expensive uh, upgrade to do, which you could do it later on but it's better if you have something like that because that thing costs more money because of the way they need to do the plumbing. But look at that, you have this all the way going up, you have the handle shower, you have your rain shower, and then right across from it, you also have the garden tub right over here. I would have loved if they had this kind of in the middle and then they have these uh, sinks separated as his and hers. But again, I don't design the homes, but you know, some homes, they're always going to be, you like something about something and then something is better. So you just have to see what works for you and talking about what works for you. I've been saying this for a very long time and I was talking about Barbara's uh, video too because you just have to see if it works for you. I mean, like if you're going to time the market, I just want to wish you all the best because I have clients that are still timing the market and I'm sure they're going to time it for a very long time while the prices have gone up. They haven't come down as they need. And just, just by inflation alone, you got to keep that in mind. Like, like inflation alone is going to make things more expensive, you know, because when the rates are what the rates are, if they do change, and I'm not saying they will change, but sooner or later, it's a cyclical market. It always changes. When that happens, all the people sitting on the fence are going to come out of the woodworks and there's going to be a competition. There is already a low inventory. And then we're going to be back to square zero over and over again. That's just my thoughts. I may be wrong, 
but I, this is what I do every single day. So I, I know a little bit. My wife says I'm good for real estate and Friday night pastas. And other than that, that's pretty much it. But that's my household. So you have the space right there. And then over here, look at the size of your master closet. One thing that I do want you to know is that it would be nice if you do closet by design where you have like a beautiful island and then you, because I'm not a huge fan of this, are you? Well, put that in the comment below. If you are, that would be good to know. The other thing is that they have the panel for your rain shower over there. Now, what they are now doing is instead of having in the master closet, they have that panel in the, uh, in the uh, garage. The access to that is in the garage, which I think is a better option than to have that right in your master closet. I'm like, in my house, that's where I have it. In the newer homes that I have recently sold, they have that outside in the garage, which makes it easy to access so you don't have somebody, if something goes wrong, coming into your master. And then this is your water closet, nothing extraordinary. So this house has a lot of upgrades. And for the price, if you are interested in this specific model, if this is something that works, make sure to call us, make sure to call me directly. My personal cell phone is 321-945-7351. 321-945-7351. Now we keep a list of inventory homes because I know what one builder is doing as compared to another. One of the other upgrades in this room, which I forgot to mention is that you have a door that leads to your patio area, which is also an upgrade because usually that is not included. You just have a wall, so you do have to pay more. I hope my videos bring in a lot of value for you. And if they do, please press that thumbs up button. Now that we are TikToking, Instagramming, doing our thing, make sure to check us on Facebook, make sure to check us on TikTok, make sure to check us on Instagram. And if you are looking, give us a call. And remember, when you do talk to them, to, when you call my general number, you are going to be talking to someone that's on my team. Their job is to collect the information and then connect you to one of the top agents on my team for that area. And if you are looking, guys, please look into Inventory Home. That's where the affordability is right now. That's where more, some builders are actually making the rates in lower fives. Like I know of a builder that has rate up for 4.875 if you can close in the next 60 days. You know, and one thing I want to point out, the way they are able to do that is that what big builders do is they go and buy a lot of money or they get a big chunk of money. And when you do something in quantity, you get a better deal. And then that's how they are doing. And these are not two one buy down. These are 30 year buy downs. And it does cost builder a lot of money up front. But that is what the, the nature of the market is because when the market was crazy at two and 3%, I'm like builder were not giving you anything. I mean like trying to buy a resale at that point was even a disaster. Doing it now, resales are not able to compete. And the reason they're not able to compete is because the cost like right now at the time of the shoot is 8% and over, it's just too much. So they're not able to compete with what the builder is able to do. I hope this all makes sense for you. And if you are looking, we would love to be able to assist you. If you haven't checked us out, make sure to check us out on Google, Facebook, Zillow. We are here to help and serve you. Until the next video, thank you for watching. Bye for now.